Okay, everybody, today we're going to be filling the tank for the first time. This is the first time I've ever done this, so bear with me if anything goes wrong. I would anticipate that uh, it's not going to be a completely smooth process. Actually, let me turn these lights off. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the salt in first because you actually want the salt to be in the tank when you're pouring the water so the water kind of churns up the salt and gets it to, to, to dissolve and uh, mix into the water so you get an even salt mix. So we've got, I know you guys can't see it, but I've got my big old bucket of sea salt on the ground and it actually says half a cup for every gallon and this is a 29 gallon tank so that's 29 cups. So I'm going to do like a little time lapse thing here so you don't have to watch me do all 29 in uh, real time but uh, anyway here we go with adding the salt and then you'll see some of the gallons of water there's uh, water on the counter there's also water on the floor um, I actually purchased drinking water because it's been purified using reverse osmosis which is what a lot of people recommend when you read online um, I got it from Walmart it was 88 cents a gallon um, I think from good sense it was actually 85 cents a gallon but uh, so I guess I'm gonna do that every time I want a water change. I'm gonna have to go out and buy two or three gallons of water, um, which is kind of a pain, I guess you would say. So I can understand why some people actually get a reverse osmosis system. That might be something I look into, into in the future, but for now, we're just gonna do it the, uh, the, the manual process way and um, see how it works out, okay? So here we go. So that is 29 and a half cups. So what is that? 14 and a half cups of salt, which actually seems like way too much, but um, the, 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 the bucket still has a lot in it and it's supposed to be 160 gallons, so it's probably accurate. So um, now we'll start with the whole water process. It's gonna take me a while, but again, I'll speed up the video so you guys don't have to watch it all, watch it all happening in real time. But uh, just take a look at the amount of salt in here. It's going to be really interesting to see if that actually dissolves um, pretty good, uh, you know, if, if a lot of it dissolves while we're actually putting the water in or it's going to take a little bit longer afterwards, uh, but we'll, we're going to find out. Here we go.
filled the tank up within a half inch to an inch at the top. I probably filled it a little bit more than I should have. Uh, but surprisingly, I only used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 gallons of water. So I find that very strange um, considering it's a 29 gallon tank. But you have to keep in mind that I have a lot of large rocks that is probably displacing a lot of that water because that's roughly 30 pounds of rock in there. Um, you know, in addition, well, I don't know. That's pretty much all I can think of. But uh, I think right now, as you can see, the water is very cloudy. Uh, let's put the hood down. Turn the light on so we can take a better peek. The water is very cloudy. There's a lot of salt in the front here. I will actually probably get like a large spoon or something and try to stir it up a little bit to help it dissolve and mix into the water. Um, but for now, in all honesty, I don't really want to fill it much more because I have to put in my sand still. Um, and the sand will probably make the water's, water level rise a little bit because there's going to be a layer of sand at the bottom here. So it's very interesting that I've only used about 20 some gallons of water. There might have been one gallon in the tank when I started, just on the bottom and in the back chamber, so about 21 gallons. Um, but since this is my first time doing it, I'm going to have to go online and take a look and see if this is normal or if I did something wrong. can't really imagine that I did much wrong here because there's not a whole lot to work with. But anyway, it looks good so far. I like the look of the rock and the water. Um, you know, really, it'll probably take another two gallons or so, um, especially because we're above all the rock now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to see. I'm going to have to do some research. But anyway, thanks for joining me um, on my first time filling up a saltwater tank. And maybe I will make another video in a few hours if the water has cleared up a little bit and we start running the pumps um, and getting things purified and whatnot. And I will see you then. So until next time, this is the Fish Tank Guy with the Saltwater Rookie Series. And... We'll see you soon.